Hi everybody, um, Jerome Wright is here, and um, I'm up, and I'm going to be decoding this painting. Okay, um, very famous painting. That's a um, a memorial, a moral that's actually hanging um, in the um, United Nations Security Council chambers. Chambers, and um, the um, the painting is um, created by that of um, Per Lanson Krog, Krog, okay, and I don't know what date this painting is made, um, I guess he was, um, he was in existence from um, June 18, 1889 to March the 3rd, 1965, okay, and, um, uh, he was a Norwegian um, artist. Um, uh, per Krog is most frequently associated with the memorial he created for United Nations Security Council Chamber, located in the United Nations Building in New York City. So, in the United Nations Building in New York City, this um, this painting is there. Okay. Um, you can actually um, Wikipedia his information, and you can get a little bit more information on that. I'm not going to try to get into um, discussing who this guy was or whatever. Um, how I ended, arrived at decoding this um, this image is that a um, a subscriber of mine, um, who I'll mention in the um, in the uh, in the text of this uh, video. Um, because I don't have his name up or his screen name up or right here for me to actually mention now, but I was um, directed to this through a um, subscri subscriber of mine who subscribed to my channel and suggested that I should um, take and um, and decode this image because people would actually get a better understanding of what I was trying to do and where I was going at and show how re how reaching these encryptions are in the artwork and what a great um, value role that they play in, um, in decision making that actually affects our world and and people that are making these decisions alright um, first of all let me say that this image is nothing more than it references how mankind evolved through creatures of our world which were oceanic um, mammals um, prehistoric creatures lizards dinosaurs reptilians this is what this is referencing and how mankind was genetically bridged um, through different cultures of our of our of our world um, different nations and subsequently, new seeds were um, created. That image, this this Krog image, is no different than this one here, which I decoded a few weeks ago and made a video. And this is the Wing Makers. This is a surrealist art form. Okay, and this is called the Wing Makers. So if you were to Google Wing Makers, you would actually get this image okay and basically what 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 this is saying is it's stating the same exact thing and I'm going to bring it into to show you if you notice that these objects cylindrical objects here in the form of a doorway and then there is a seed right here on both ends you have these cylindrical objects and then you have to see it in the middle okay now this is called the wing makers alright so there is a reference of being of that of the wings which is the bird which is shown here in the feathers same exact thing is being actually being said here by this bird and its wings okay basically I mean 
what is being bridged over? There's always a show of where we came from, the founding stones of where we came from. And that's what's down here. These are the founding stones, the founding genes of mankind, and they're all depicted down here. And I'm going to show you. In this case, it's summed up by the artist here, where you see a clouded figure of that of an ape. There's his mouth, and you see the the ape like I mean no, not the um, the ape like face here in the clouds. There's the um, the right eye. There's the left eye. There's the forehead of the ape, and it shows you this foot of this reptilian-like person bridged over the penis of the ape and the vagina, which is shown to have evolved from the ocean waters of our planet. And inside of the vagina, it actually shows you where it actually the origins of this actually came from, which was from you see this vine extended from space into our oceans this was pulled out and then it shows you that this vine this seed is now taking place and then it shows you from that shows you strands of semen and then shows you the um, the cross in the middle of this egg like which is the blood shows you a new bloodline and it shows you the triangle which represents fertility shows you this reptilian like creature worm like bent over shows you these genetics being pulled out and bridge bridge back over this creature to change different cultures and different likenesses of mankind and it shows you about when this actually occurred based on these um these native people's masks that you actually see here the same thing people is being said here all right um oh well, um there's one other thing let me let me let me let me show you with these i don't know if you can actually see the image of that ape all right i have a video on this i'm not going to go back into trying to show you because this is about the other but here you will be able to see the image of an ape it lets you know that this creature reptilian was bridged over the penis and the vagina which represents which created a new seed and that's what this is saying the same exact thing up here I'm gonna show you the encryptions here and then I'm gonna take you through some of my um, my other findings which is actually gonna lend to supporting what I'm actually um, describing here this is a um, this painting by the way it doesn't give me the best of uh, of image here to give you detail with so you just gonna have to bear with me here okay what I'm suggesting is that this wing makers, this surreal wing makers image, that shadowed image of the ape right there, these snaky like objects, black and white, shows you that there was a genetic change of how mankind evolved over ape, evolved over black man, well, actually bridged over through a specific gene um, um, gen a genetic manipulation process that later calls for the other likenesses of our, our white counterparts and that's what this is all about it's showing you genetic manipulation now this is in the um in the security council there in new york all right now i'm going to show you down here wherever these references are being made there's an encryption down here the same exact thing is being said here it begins you see a dragon-like creature wrapped around a column and then it has it shows you the founding stone of where of, of, um, uh, our origins of our genetics and then it shows you that a sword is sent down through it. it shows you that there was a genetic splicing that's what the sword means there's a sword ran down through the dragon and a lot of the um, Renaissance artist artwork like that was St. George you see St. George slaying the dragon um, and many others. You'll see where there are popes and saints standing on top of the dragon and has a sword going down through it. Or This is a reference of an ancient genetic that was bridged over, spliced into. And this is the reason why you see 
the stoop, the sword there. Now, there was a bloodline out of this, out of that slaying of that of that creature, the extinction. Let's say the extinction of that creature. This it is showing us that this bloodline of this creature continued on. Okay, and what is it being continued on to? I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to see if I can get in. I'm going to get in real closer to you. What you don't see is the bloodline off this body. This, this is this is all representing the body of that of a serpent. And what you can't see until I'm just now showing it to you is that there is a bird heads here, and then on the other end is a fish, showing you that there is a representation of how sea life was bridged over our land life and these mutations these creations were made which ultimately led into the likenesses that we actually have here um, I'm gonna bring this in closer I'm gonna try to go slow so you can get a better understanding of this this is what is actually being shown here there is a bird on the other head, there's a head there on a bird. I gave it the eye, but the impression is already there. With a worm-like object in its mouth. Showing you that a new bloodline was created from this which is here. Now, what is on the other end of this bird? Shows you the bloodline. What is on the other end? Well, it shows you that, you see this guy right here with his hat off? I, hi I highlighted it for you. On the other end of this mask, where this guy is standing right here, what you can't see is an encryption of him, mankind, emerging from the mouth of that, of an eel-like creature, a fish, a creature from the ocean and you see how I just turned it there it even goes in describing in detail how fish we can recognize our fish as having like little tentacles coming off their mouth you will see these tentacles snaking off this creature and you'll see this man like if he's stepping out of the mouth of that creature one foot is in the mouth of that creature now I'm going to stop there for a minute because I'm going to show you how other Renaissance artists in a time actually knew the same exact thing. Because these are in my other discoveries. This here is child's play for me to decode, by the way. Because I've taken this from a whole nother level and I've seen this in its original form. This is not its original state. These are just copies off of other people's materials that came actually before them. I'm going to take you to first the works of Leonardo da Vinci. Or what is being stated here. That creature, that creature, I'm going to bring you, and I'm going to try to speed up here. I'm going to try to speed up. Where's that man with this creature right here? Right there. You see it? With two heads snaked over on itself, a man emerging. Leonardo da Vinci. This is Leonardo da Vinci's prisoner. Painting or, um, what's, of a prisoner. These are my decodings of Leonardo da Vinci's prisoner drawings. The Madonna like woman who always appears. Because she is the cause for all of this. The Medusa-like woman. I call her the mother of creation. Look at these objects right here. Those snaky-like objects. Like fish. Like an eel. Which, by the way, there's um, there's information now. New information that says that man, um, man, saying that mankind's first ancestor was actually ill because they were the first creatures they found. They found it in a mountain somewhere, 
stating that mankind, um, the, this creature has a spine. Okay, that they actually found out. I might have the story there, and I'll go into it a little later on. But look at these these eel-like objects. Look, this is encrypted in Da Vinci's prisoner. The same creature that is right here that this this man is showing emerging from right there. Okay, now. Here is Leonardo da Vinci's. Um, either this is a man study of a man riding a horse, or a man on a rearing horse. I don't I don't know at this point. Again, there's that creature with another creature shown emerging from its mouth. Leonardo da Vinci has that encrypted. And his drawing, along with a bunch of other drawings, I mean, other images, encryptions that I can see. So, this creature is very well known to me. And that's why I can see it. Now, more famous is the fact that this creature is also in Nervi Hall in the Vatican. Nervi Hall, the Ferenzi sculpture of Jesus, supposedly emerging from a nuclear explosion, which where there would never no nuclear explosion in Jesus' time, so there couldn't have been no nuclear explosion. Here's Jesus hanging up, and in case you're wondering, there's the Pope down there with his cardinals on either end, and this entire mass is saying the same thing that's encrypted down here. Now, if you turn this sideways, why is Jesus shown emerging from that of a serpent? Now, it's not just a serpent. Now, this is identical. All you have to do is Google the image Nervy Hall and turn it sideways. The only thing I did was highlight, enhance the lines so you can see. It even shows you this reptilian's scaly-like mouth features that outlines its mouth perfectly, just like what you see here. The only thing I did was accent what was already there and put the whitings in. I mean, give this, this creature its teeth that are already there. Just highlighted them for you to see. And the same thing with the eye. All you have to do is just Google the image. And I'm telling you that the representation that is there and suggesting man emerging from the head of the snake. Now, what better verification do you need more than that? Jesus' body shown emerging from that of a reptilian, a reptile. Here, in the New York painting, in the, in the, in the, in the um, Security Council chambers, is showing us the same exact thing again. This man's foot emerging from that of a reptilian creature. Same exact thing. It just in a different art form. Now, what else is there that I actually want to um, discuss there? Let me put this out of the way. Okay, I want to go over to here. There are other things down here that I can show you. But you would not even understand them. So I'm not even going to bother. But it's showing you how man is emerging from the evolution of our prehistoric creatures of our world that intelligently knew how to evolve through themselves to become the likenesses that we are today, which are mankind. Okay? And in this seed, it reflects all of this, this bridging over. Oh, notice, um, also I'm going to go back to the, um, to the what you call there. Notice how up here, it is showing you this, this being bridged over 
okay, bridged over this child and this child here. I'm telling you that that there is no different than this stating these two bridgings and this being laid across the top identically the same exact way bridged across between the penis and the vagina long and behold you have the penis and the vagina and this child bridged across actually if you look right in the body right here there's a face of a reptilian person a reptilian looking person actually it's a witch looking woman and she is the mother of creation if you pull into it you cannot see it the only way you can realize that face right there is if that you have to look at it like you can possibly see it right now there's a resolution that you have to have this in in order to see it it's an encryption style that's actually mentioned in a lot of my paintings it shows you how this creature emerge from this likeness and this existence to come up to here and now I'm bridged over and it's showing you look the new child the new bloodline that is created from this union and that's what this is all about there's no different than it showing you the, uh, in Christianity these miracle babies the same exact thing all this is referencing people is the creation of new bloodlines new genes and an overcoming of old genetics that have been being genetically bridged and manipulated the whole time throughout the evolution of mankind and that's why you have these weird paintings and a privileged few knows what it all means alright now where are we at here I want to take you to how easy this stuff is, is to read. This guy, where are we at? There should be a guy right here. He has a shovel over here. There's a guy that has a shovel over here. And he has a pick thrown over his, his, um, his shoulder there. Okay? And he's shown coming up the steps right there you see that right there shown at the steps this image was taken from Rembrandt or it's an encryption style utilized by Rembrandt right here the steps the guy with the shovel okay and what painting you can find that in is with Rembrandt and um, um, Jesus Christ and um, Mary Magdalene where Christ is here has a shovel in his hand and what you don't see is in this city back here there's an encryption of a woman on this side in Rembrandt's image showing you that Christ intervened with ancient genetics in a genetic bridging process and it shows Mary Magdalene bridged, genetically bridged, there's our steps and the same exact thing okay it's being stated by this guy right here with this axe a pickaxe and a shovel showing you that he intervened with these ancient genetics that's being shown down here and then there was a contamination process shows you how these genetics were taken out now I'm going to show you something else now that's then this is from Rembrandt now I'm going to take you back to da Vinci's with this horse in a, a many in the boom of Renaissance art all you see is these white horses reared up showing you that there and you see the man up close to them showing you that there was a genetic exchange between the horse and the man I'm going to take you back to Leonardo's da Vinci's drawings you see this rearing horse
there's a serpent coming down through its leg, touching the man's leg, and then all of the encryptions that Leonardo da Vinci put in his artwork showing you that there is a genetic exchange between mankind and this animal. And it shows you a genetic grail how these animals, I mean these, these mutations throughout that evolution of, of, that, of, that, um, of that genetic um, manipulation process, what these faces look like and what, the, in the sense of what they were, it's, it's almost like looking at a genetic blueprint and where someone draws your blood and they can tell what type of blood you have. These are how they did it. They drew the actual faces of these creatures. It shows you the genetic changes that we went through when this process of intervention took place. And that's what's all being shown here. Now, Da Vinci didn't just do it once. Every time his life works was was um um was dedicated to that. Here, in this rider image, the same exact thing. If you look into his drawings and the way that I have, I can read these drawings to you to let you know. It shows you down here. The horse penis turned up. The guy doesn't even have his leg completed. You know why? Because it shows you the horse penis attaching his leg. Showing you that there was a genetic connection between these two creatures from which mankind was genetically bridged. Okay, now, in some paintings or drawings, Da Vinci makes it more obvious. This is study of a horse for battle of um, Anagari. So, why is it that up here there's a head of a war hog with the tusk and everything right here barely visible then it shows you a genetic bridging where the horse now is being mutated into the likeness of this war hog then it shows you cats come into play the genetics of cats tigers then it shows you the transfer, um, transformation of how these genetics were bridged over and then it shows you an image of a man with all of these genes in it so why would Da Vinci go through all of this and then have a likeness of a man through these transformations of these genetics? You know why? Because it shows you that there was a genetic bridging and manipulation, a precise process from which mankind was genetically bridged and these are some of the likenesses that emerged. So those mythical faces that we see in cartoons, in myth, in movies, this stuff was for real. And then over here in this horse, with this horse up in the air, you know what it tells us? It tells me, every time I see a horse up in the air, that there was an intervention by the mother of creation where this beast was genetically altered. And there is her witch-like face right there. Her chin, her nose, her eye shows you that now this creature is being genetically bridged. And that's what this representation is right here. Why else would there be a horse there, up in the air? And this guy here, I think, you make sense of it then. These images, people, are telling us how we were genetically bridged over. What else do I have there? Is there anything else that I have that I actually want to make mention of this? Let me look at the, um, <clears throat> oh, there you go. Now I can see, here I can see images of apes, I can see an image of a man, I, this woman being helped out. I can see all of these images, There's, but the one that stands out the most is the head of a dinosaur. And it's right there, and I'm going to bring that back up. But there's an, also a head of a man. You know where else this is at? The same exact image, and I wish I would have brought it up for the sake of this video. 
is an, um, Sir Isaac Newton sitting on a rock. The man and the image, I mean the, the dinosaur and then the image of man. Showing you how mankind is emerging from that of the image of the dinosaur. It's in Sir Isaac Newton's patent by, oh gosh, what is this guy's name? Oh, Wayne something now. Oh, I can't think of this guy's name. I'm gonna kill William. William something. William. Oh, it's by William something. I forget what it is now. I, it, that certain Isaac Newton painting. William Blake. William Blake. By William Blake shows you the same exact fact: a man and the dinosaur. Man emerges from dinosaur. I want to show you something in these rock images. There's the head of the dinosaur highlighted. There's an eye, there's a nose, there's a brief detailed image of the dinosaur's mouth and then the dinosaur's chin. And there's also, if you look closely, you'll see the a face of a man there and you see seeing what's happening here is it's showing you that these genetics reintroduce, it's a cyclonation and then pulled back out and that's what's being implied by this. Over here, another reptilian's face of that of the ancient dinosaur shows you the different sides. Now, why do we have two different sides of what's going on? You say it's one female and one male. Well, what they're showing you is that this guy, well, basically what it's showing you is at different levels from which mankind was pulled out and bridged over. But it's showing you that here with this guy, you probably can't notice it from here because I have this. He's actually shown standing at the tail of this guy. This guy here, this tail comes out and he's shown standing on it. Showing you that through all of this, this these, these genetic bridgings, which calls for that of cre mankind's creation, the final emergence was that at the tail. that creature. Now, what am I showing you here now? I just seen something while I'm doing it. That's why I lost my, my train of thought. I just seen something and I lost train of thought. Alright, let me just bring this back up here. Maybe I can get it back again. Look at the faces that are in the, the masses down here. These encryptions shows you the bird with the wings this is an egg indicating an egg this bird standing on its own self its own genetics showing you a genetic bridging of look there's an image of the bird look showing you that there was a, a change a genetic change these genetic laid to rest this bird is standing on top of its own and then it shows you the um, the new egg that is being created. This is all that is actually being said. New genetic. In fact, if you look closely, if you look closely at the bird, you will see the likeness of not just the bird but you see these two creatures in combination up close you see the bird you move away you see actually see a winged horse these these creations are all the stuff that are mentioned in our mythical sense of being And the mythical history, but yet these artists are painstakingly going through encrypting their artworks with this. You know why, people? Because it's 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 actuality. This is all things that actually have taken place. 
and these are showing you bridgings bridgings over the origins of our original genetics which were down here the bridging over of dinosaurs reptilians reptiles sea, sea creatures you see it in ancient um, Hindu culture you see it in ancient um, Japanese culture these 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 serpents these dragons d these um snakes these four-headed snakes five-headed snakes you see it in Angkor Wat you see it in um uh, in ancient Egypt half bird half man instead of this being you see this bird here being bridged over instead of this this creature here you will see a bird you see it in, I mean, a, a man, half man, half bird, in ancient Egypt, with a beak. In, um, in Anaki, and Sumerian, you see these half bird, half man creatures. Look at this, people. Look at this. This is nothing more than a picture of who you are, genetically are. The head of our bird with the worm in its mouth. coming down to his body, bridged over a fish. The wings of this bird are that of our ancient dinosaur, which birds are known to have evolved from. Look how this body creates that of this being, and then here's our egg. Now, oh, I know what I meant to show you. I know what I meant to show you. Now, I want to take you somewhere else with this. That's what I meant to show you. That's what I meant to show you. I have a video on this as well, too. You see these eggs right here? That's an egg. Our ancient Peruvian ancestors showed us the same thing too. How much time do I got? Okay, I got enough time to close. I'm gonna close this out with this. Just to, to, to lend to more um, of showing that this is an egg. Remember the ancient Peruvian burial stones that were found, and science can't show why there are images of Triceratops with mankind, where mankind is never known to exist with um, with these creatures, but yet on these burial stones it is shown these are Peruvian burial stones that were found you know what these stones are saying people? <laughs> you know what these burial stones are saying? And I have a video on this. You have to see all my videos, people. You have to see all my videos. You know what these Peruvian burial stones are saying? The same thing that's being said here. Through the dinosaur, there became a new egg, and out of that egg, mankind. The Peruvian burial stones are in the shape of that of eggs. You see this guy here? We all know damn well that there is no guy who's going to be up to a dinosaur with no axe handle in his hand. But you know what he's showing you? His axe handle is showing you that there was a genetic splicing that caused for the creation of man. It shows you those genetics snaking off. 
See that showing the steps there on the um, on the dinosaur's back. It's fun. Those steps are here as well too, by the way, people. And showing this man walking up them too. If I do, I have them highlighted. Let me show you. Those spines on those spines on the dinosaur's back are right there. Why is this guy shown walking? And this is the dinosaur's head, and those those dinosaur fins on their back are right there. People, it is the same thing that is here shown on this on this Peruvian burial stone. But this guy is showing it more blatantly, showing you that this is a splicing. His axe is up to it. Said I was genetically spliced, and here is the genetic right here that's being spliced off. It's showing you now. Look. Now, and, and if we don't get get that image, all of these burial stones are in the forms of dinosaur eggs. That's what they are on. Here you have two men holding their penises in their hands at each other. Showing you that there's a genetic exchange. This is how we can, again, on a dinosaur egg. Mimicking that of a dinosaur egg. Here, people, again, these ancient Peruvian people with an axe at the dinosaurs, showing you from the tree of life that, that there's a flower, there's a genetic splice, that all of them were genetically bridged over this creature that caused for their later existence. They, they emerged from this creature. There was a genetic bridging that caused for their likenesses. Here, just like in Angkor Wat, this guy here, again, on another um, um, rock art in the form of an egg. He's on a Triceratops, just like in Angkor Wat, the same exact thing, showing you his axe turned backwards. His axe at his mouth with a leaf, showing you that there, I'm, this is where I'm genetically from. Through the egg of the dinosaur emerged that... Mutation of a man. Again, genetically spliced. Look, everybody, I was genetically spliced, showing you the worm snaking off. I was genetically spliced with this creature. Look, this this dinosaur and this guy. Look identical alike. Look at their bodies. The long neck. The whole line. And it shows you the snaking off worm of these genetics. Look at the body of the dinosaur. Look at the body of the man. Look at his face. Look at the dinosaur's face. Showing you genetic splicing. I like this one. Hold on. I'm getting to that one. I'm getting to the climax of this other one here. These Perubio Burial Stones are showing you that they genetically knew where they came from and their history of how they were genetically evolved from the dinosaur are mentioned on these rocks which are in the form of dinosaur eggs now I want to show you something else Oh, the Nazca lines. These are all the creatures that are are shown in the um, the Nazca um, the Nazca lines in Peru. All of the creatures. Again, a dinosaur's egg. Through the egg, all of these life forms emerge. They show that big bird, the monkey. Um, I forget what else is there. I can't see it here from upside down. What else we have there? Oh, the spider. All all of these creatures shown. That are on the grounds of the uh, uh, for the Nazca lines. Through the egg of the dinosaur, these life forms emerged. It's a record, an ancient grail, an holy grail of a record. I like this one better. This is my favorite right here. I made a video on this, by the way. I'm gonna close this out because I'm going for I'm going off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose everybody here in this video. I just want to I just want to hammer this home. Now. We're not supposed to coexist with dinosaurs, and there's no evidence of it. So, so it. Is. But genetically, we do. 
because we evolved from that creature. So therefore, this stone I love the best because this stone, which signifies, this is an egg of a dinosaur. There's the dinosaur. It's telling you this is a dinosaur's egg. Through that baby, through that dinosaur, the baby was created. Even shows you almost guy like he's wearing a diaper. Look at this. I like this. All the way ancient back then. Showing you this mother dinosaur carrying its baby, which is in the image of mankind, in its belly. And this is the way you expect for cats, dogs, and lions to carry their young in the back by the back by the neck. Mankind is the baby of this creature. And this is what is symbolizing through the egg. And that's how science has screwed us over in understanding of where we have evolved from. Because they said, well, mankind, there's no evidence of mankind existing with uh, with um, dinosaur. Oh, no, impossible. Um, dinosaurs were extinct millions and millions and millions of years long before the dinosaur even came. I mean, before mankind came into play, dinosaurs were extinct. Exactly. But genetically, there was a record, a genetic grail, that showed how we emerged from that creature. And we are genetically linked to this creature. And there are hidden records, encryption, globally, and the artworks. Otherwise, why would there be a bird encrypted here? Wings expanded in this mass down here. Just like it is here, showing you the emergence of this new bird and showing you the evolution of mankind. The same exact thing that I just showed you on the Peruvian burial stones is here. And in every Renaissance artist's artwork, from the boom of the Renaissance era, I can show you a similar story, a similar message. Because all of their artwork is encrypted with the same message. Anywhere globally, I don't care if it's Japan, Angkor Wat, I don't care what Cambodia, I don't care if it's Africa. Well, Africa records been destroyed completely because you don't see no African records. You see what I'm saying? You don't. They, 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 they've been completely wiped out. But these other records that, that are being unearthed, that were untouched by um, 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 those that were trying to suppress this information from us, and we know who they are because they were the early explorer, or explorers of our world. They were the ones that went out and gathered all this information, either defaced it, destroyed it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Those from Britain, um, those, um, all of the earlier explorations was pretty much commissioned by Christi uh, those of Christianity, the Vatican, the popes. You know, we, we know who, who the um, culprits are in all of this and the suppression of who we are. But then there's a secret about all of this that I did not even share yet. And about this stuff. And about all artwork that nobody but I could know anything about. Because through my paranormal experience and encounter, I don't care what it is. If it references that of our ancient ancestors, the genetic, the genetic becoming of mankind, I am instinctively linked to it all. I can, it's, 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 it's like a multidimensional sense of awareness, a multidimensional sense of vision. I can see this. And see through this for what it truly is. It shows you a genetic bridging. And how it just kept a cyclination process. From which mankind's genes were genetically bridged from the original state. Which was that of these creatures. And periodically there are interventions where these genetics are reintroduced into mankind's genes. To alter them from their original state and to defeat and destroy genes that are dominating or a problem are problematic, and then they have these lines of division, which are these different nations, where we have these different culture groups, where we are separated for purpose, we are sequestered for purpose, and then there are these locations in our world like America, where all of these outside cultures can come in. And intermingle with each other. I'm telling you now people. You need to look at this stuff. For what it really is. 
we are genetically being experimented upon and there are those that enjoy the knowledge from all of this and the ones that benefit the most from this in this cross-referencing is that of our Vatican and the royalty of our world that have these ancient roots and these ancient knowledge as to what is to genetically become of us they have this control what is genetically being altered in us these are the problems that we have the control is in us but there is something people that I know about these images that no one else knows and I can verify myself I don't even need scientists to verify any of this I can verify it all myself there is something that I know about these images that not even the artists who created this image know my name is Jerome Wright you're watching my Jeronification channel and also I want to bring this back up because I missed something this bird with this object in his mouth this worm and its mouth. You see that right there? You see that bird? I drew it out for you. Again, look at the fish here, which is equivalent to that of an eel looking creature. Look. Um oh, can we where's the mouth? Oh, the mouth open there. Look how look how it's separated. And it even creates the fishy like the the, the, the um the tentacles of the fish around the fish's mouth. That come off the scent, those scent. I forgot what you call those things. I was trying to look for an ancient fish to show you that. But um, look how they look how the color separation that actually indicate. And look how this man's one leg shown how man evolved out of this serpent-like creature. Look at this, people, and bridge the pond onto land from sea. Look at this from reptilians. Look at this information that's here. This wealth of information. Now. You see, oh, I started out by showing you that that object in that in that guy's mouth right there. Benzini shows us that identical same thing because look in the mouth of this snake here, this serpent by Benzini. Look how it shows us, people. This is what this stuff is. It's a genetic bloodline. Look, look at this new, look at this, look at this baby. Snaked around, comes around, there's a mouth, there's a nose, and it creates the head of a man. And then it shows it snaking off again. But what I like about all of this is that's right there in your face. Now, you know, here's the Pope right there. Is how it shows how there is a genetic connection between this guy and that reptilian egg face which is right here in this sculpture and over the cranial of the, of the ape's head and in the ape's cranial there's two penises which represents two genetic bloodlines there's an eye socket right there's the left eye socket there's the bridge of the ape's nose there's the left ape's nostril, there's the right ape's nostril, there's the ape's mouth. And I'm going to bring it in closer with the Pope there, people. It's probably why the Pope retired too, by the way. Because he know his ass is, is grass. You've probably been seeing my videos, that's probably why he retired. Said, oh, I don't want to be around for this. This is the end. This is those days that we were worried about. That's probably why he retired. Um, where are we at here? Look how there's a genetic chain link right here going through that reptilian ape's mouth. Look at the ape's mouth there, people. And look at the chain shown both bridged over. That ape shown bridged over. This is the Fizzini sculpture. Six million people come to sit here. Look at that. Look at what's there. The face of an ape. Shows you how reptilians were bridged over our original ancestors, which are ape, Africans and these experiments are going on today. Look at what is happening, people. Look at the look at the faces in this stuff. I'm gonna bring see if I can bring this around to show you where so you can see that. Uh, right there. Look at that worm. And I know what all of this means. These people are 
cultivating, manipulating genetics and then giving them out to you in ways you cannot even imagine. They stand at the center of the, our world's genetic altering and manipulation and it's been that way from the beginning. These people are responsible for the separation and the segregation of our world. They're responsible for all of our problems that we have medically. They're responsible for so many things. And if you open up your eyes, you would actually be able to see it. There's no way that I can take these images from here and put them in so many artists' artworks to bring you this. It represents who we genetically are. Oh, uh, there's one other thing that I want to bring up. I, I do want to bring this point up. There is something else. Notice here, and there's so much I can read into this. I'm just going to notice here how you have this guy with his telescope to the sky. Imagine this as being a, a cauldron. And for those of you that don't know what a cauldron is, because here's my witch-like woman up here. She's the mother of creation. She's also in here. I can verify her through here as well, too. She's in, She appears in here about, i say about maybe five or six times that I can actually show you. Besides, in the, she's here in the likenesses of mankind. But her face is actually there and it's shown snaking off. And I can show you other places that she's at, which I'm not going to elect to do right now. I'm going to hold off on that to see if I get caught on what I'm doing here. But it's showing you how this cauldron, this cocktail brew of genetics, which originated from our earliest ancient ancestors, were brewed up, changed, and manipulated. And you know what it's showing you? That after all of these bridgings of these different cultures, and these different, it's showing you a genetic that is down here bridged over itself, running itself back in over and over and over again until where it is able and then you see this guy over here looking to the stars just as NASA is doing right now looking for places because this is genetic contamination it's a manipulation process that's being not only a contamination of in our world but it's actually looking out to other worlds to send, to send these contaminated genes and that's what this is indicating they're looking to other places to send these genes which were bridged over here. And that's the secret behind everything that is actually going on. And that's what this is actually saying. We control the contamination of our world, the genetic bridging of our world, and now um, the, the, the final result of these genes, we're contaminating other worlds. And it shows these genes being sent out. How can I explain all of this? Everything here is just a rehash of everything that came before artworks of before. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. Um, again, I'm not the best narrator. Um, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, not, none of the above, but I have a true genuine experience and encounter. And there are things that are here that I did not even mention that, um, that can still be realized. But I'm going to tell you something, people. I'm dead on in everything that I point out and I bring in to, uh, um, to, to show you because you know why? Because it's all factual. Thank you. Um, also, you can catch me on um, Alien UFOs as well, too. I'm going to end this video because I'm almost at an hour. All right. Um, oh, well, um, there's one other thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you. With these, I don't know if you can actually see the image of that ape. All right. I have a video on this. I'm not going to go back into trying to show you because this is about the other. But here you will be able to see the image of an ape. It lets you know that this creature, reptilian, was bridged over the penis 
in the vagina, which represents which created a new seed. And that's what this is saying, the same exact thing up here. I'm going to show you the encryptions here, and then I'm going to take you through some of my, um, my other findings, which is actually going to lend to supporting what I'm actually um, describing here. This is a um, this painting, by the way. It doesn't give me the best of uh, of image here to give you detail with, so you're just gonna have to bear with me here, okay? But what I'm suggesting is that this wing makers, this surreal wing makers image, that shadowed image of the ape right there. These snaky like objects, black and white, shows you that there was a genetic change of how mankind evolved over ape evolved over black man, well actually bridged over through a specific gene um, um, ge a genetic manipulation process that later calls for the other likenesses of our, our white counterparts. And that's what this is all about. It's showing you genetic manipulation. Now, this is in the, um, in the Security Council there in New York. Alright, now I'm going to show you. Down here, wherever these references are being made, there's an encryption. Hi everybody, um, Jerome Wright is here, and um, I'm up, and I'm going to be decoding this painting. Okay, um, very famous painting. That's a um, a memorial, a moral that's actually hanging um, in the um, United Nations Security Council chambers. Chambers, and um, the um, the painting is um, created by that of um, Per Lanson Krog, Krog, okay, and I don't know what date this painting is made, um, I guess he was, um, he was in existence from um, June 18, 1889 to March the 3rd, 1965, okay, and, um, uh, he was a Norwegian um, artist. Um, uh, per Krog is most frequently associated with the memorial he created for United Nations Security Council Chamber, located in the United Nations Building in New York City. So, in the United Nations Building in New York City, this um, this painting is there. Okay. Um, you can actually um, Wikipedia his information, and you can get a little bit more information on that. I'm not going to try to get into um, discussing who this guy was or whatever. Um, how I ended, arrived at decoding this um, this image is that a um, a subscriber of a few weeks ago and made a video. And this is the wing makers. This is a surrealist art form. Okay, and this is called the wing makers. So if you were to Google wing makers, you would actually get this image. Okay, and basically what 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 this is saying is it's stating the same exact thing, and I'm going to bring it into to show you. If you notice that these objects, cylindrical objects, here, in the form of a doorway, and then. There is a seed right here. On both ends, you have these cylindrical objects, and then you have the seed in the middle. Okay? Now, this is called the wing makers. Alright? So there is a reference of being of that of the wings, which is the bird, which is shown here in the feathers. Same exact thing is being actually being said here by this bird and its wings. Okay, basically, I mean, what is being bridged over? There's always a show of where we came from, the founding stones of where we came from, and that's what's down here. These are the founding stones and founding genes of mankind and they're all depicted down here and I'm going to show you. In this case, it's summed up by the artist here where you see a clouded figure of that of an ape 
there's his mouth, and you see the the ape-like, I mean, no, not the um, the ape-like face here in the clouds. There's the um, the right eye, there's the left eye, there's the forehead of the ape, and it shows you this foot of this reptilian-like person bridged over the penis of the ape and the vagina, which is shown to have evolved from the ocean waters of our planet. And inside of the vagina, it actually shows you where it actually, the origins of this actually came from, which was from, you see this vine extended from space into our oceans. This was pulled out, and then it shows you that this vine, this seed, is now taking place. And then it shows you from that, shows you strands of semen, and then shows you the, um, the cross in the middle of this egg like which is the blood shows you a new bloodline and it shows you the triangle which represents fertility shows you this reptilian like creature worm like bent over shows you these genetics being pulled out and bridge bridge back over this creature to change different cultures and different likenesses of mankind and it shows you about when this actually occurred based on these um these native people's masks that you actually see here the same thing people is being said here of mine um who i'll mention in the um in the uh, in the text of this uh, video um because i don't have his name up or his screen name up or right here for me to actually mention now but I was um, directed to this through a um, subscri subscriber of mine who subscribed to my channel and suggested that I should um, take and, um, and decode this image because people would actually get a better understanding of what I was trying to do and where I was going at and show how, re how reaching these encryptions are in the artwork and what a great um, value role that they play. And, um, and decision making that actually affects our world and and people that are making these decisions. All right. Um, first of all, let me say that this image is nothing more than it references how mankind evolved through creatures of our world, which were oceanic. Um, Mammals, um, prehistoric creatures, lizards, dinosaurs, reptilians. This is what this is referencing, and how mankind was genetically bridged um, through different cultures of our of our of our world, um, different nations, and subsequently, new seeds were um, created. That image. This, this Krogh image is no different than this one here, which I decoded 